Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on integrating the report viewer control into a JavaScript application. Before getting into the video, let's talk a bit about the report viewer in bold reports. The report viewer is a reporting control that empowers web and desktop applications with the ability to view SSR, SRDL and RDLC reports and export them. This video explains the steps required to create your first JavaScript reporting application to display an already created SSR, SRDL report using the HTML5 JavaScript report viewer without the report server. First, let's see how to create the HTML file. Create a new folder and name it. I named mine JS Report Viewer. Open the folder in Visual Studio Code. I am using Visual Studio Code for editing purposes. You can use any editor to get started. Create a new HTML file, name it index.html. And enter the following code. Let's reference the scripts in CSS. Reference the following scripts and style sheets in the head tag and format document. I have provided the snippets and documentation link in the video description for your convenience. The purpose of each script and CSS file is explained in the following table. Bold.reports.all.min.css includes the CSS properties for the JavaScript reporting component. The jQuery 1.10.2 script is used to render the Syncfusion JavaScript reporting widgets. EJ2Base.min.js, EJ2Data.min.js, EJ2PDFExport.min.js, and EJ2SVGBase.min.js are used to render the gauge item. EJ2LinearGauge.min.js renders the linear gauge report item. EJ2CircularGauge.min.js renders the circular gauge report item. EJ2Maps.min.js is used to render the map report item. EJ.chart.min.js renders the chart report item. Bold.reports.common.min.js, bold.reports.widgets.min.js, and bold.reportviewer.min.js are mandatory to render the bold reports report viewer. In bold reports, the report processing and rendering in browser will be handled using a server-side web API and a client-side HTML page respectively. Now let's add the report viewer widget in client-side. Add the following div and script tag within the body element. This div acts as a container for the bold report viewer widget. The script is used to set property and initialize bold report viewer widget. Let's set the report path and web API service. This is where the RDL report is processed and rendered in the browser using the web API service. You can find out how to create the standalone web API service in either the ASP.NET Core or ASP.NET Platform in another video. I have included that video link in the description. In this video, I am using the render path unit, which requires the report service URL and report path. The web API service is hosted as an Azure web app. The report path property sets the path of the report file and the report service URL property specifies the report web API service URL. To render the report, set the report path and report service URL properties of the report viewer as follows. Here I am using sales order detail.rdl report from the demo server location. This file is located in the resources slash docs slash path. Save the file. To preview the report, open the index.html file in a browser. You can see the sales order detail report is loaded in the bold report viewer. In this video, we learned how to integrate the report viewer component in a JavaScript application. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.